I go to the bathroom and it's just I'm just worried about my friend. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a good What's diet. What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to yet another episode of Space Bar Podcast, your favorite podcast. Let's go. So we've got a special thing going. Um, I'm Eric. I'm Drew. Kyle. Nathan. I always go second. Nathan's always last. Facts. That's 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 been the most consistent thing that's been happening during our intros. Yeah, Unlike Nathan's shit. <laughs> Yikes. Those so are why first. do you worry about your friends? <laughs> I was literally actually thinking today while I was shitting, I was like, there was a, a, a distinct moment where it turned from a poop to a shit. I was just like, uh, what? Um, <laughs> what, people, what is that distinction? My, my, you... my listeners with IBS will, will know what I'm saying. Um, I don't have IBS, so can you break that down? I feel, like, a difference? I, I feel like a I'm shit. Sure. A shit is whenever you're you're fully aware of what's going on, and maybe if your pants are at your knees, they're now at your ankles. You might have to raise your shirt a little, over bit. a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah. so a poop you is hit easy. That stance, a poop is on like, the thighs. I just smoked a cigarette, drank a cup of coffee or something. I'm gonna take a really easy mm-hmm. poop, go about my day. A shit is where you're like, that's the like shirt off your pants on only one ankle like you took it off you shirt like, off you remove your shirt to shit you've never had to you've Sometimes. never had to shit that hard where you're just like oh my god it won't yeah, come yeah, out an easy life no. if you've never had to do no, that no i've i've shat without a shirt but that's because going into the shit i was already shirtless i've never been on the toilet going poop and had to remove my shirt it's usually now, one of those sure situations where it's like, I'm going to shower after this shit. I'm going to go ahead and just take this off. <laughs> nah, but no. you need to check your privilege, Kyle, because those exist and they're really rough times. I mean, Facts. if I'm if I'm getting extra lengthy, sometimes I'll pull my left leg out of the underwear loop. Like, That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm wrapped around It's a mixture leg. of like length and difficult, like like a constipation type deal. You're just like, uh, what about yeah, the ones that make like you just this. question life? Yeah, exactly. Make you question who I pissed off. The shits that make you question <clears throat> your life and your diet and just your lifestyle, your choices. That's a I shit. I just don't you understand don't do where the poop. shirt makes it more or less difficult. Because you've never it's been in that scenario, clearly. You just need to Kyle. breathe. It's... <laughs> yeah, it just makes it easier oh. on the body, 100%. Yeah, you never been in the trenches, boy. As much, <laughs> you need as much skin contact with the air as possible. <laughs> Wearing I'm, socks, I'm the socks dead. are coming off. I don't know. That's wild. I've always used those terms synonymously, and I've never had to remove my shirt. So, well, ironically, we're just out here learning new things. There are literally times where I'm like sitting on the toilet, and like my go-to like move to like I'll like be watching TikTok, and I'll have to like put my phone down, and it's almost like I'm praying. I'm just like, oh, this hurts so bad, my guts. That's so, I feel like that's so not healthy. It's not, Kyle. That's IBS, and it's awful. I've seen his shits. It's not healthy. (laughs) It's not healthy. I have, like, anxiety-induced IBS, so it's been, like, really easy lately because I haven't had, like, mad anxiety, but, like, fucking three or four years ago, bro, in the peak of it, oh, my God, it was the worst. Mine is mostly, like, stress-induced. Yeah. Um, That, too. So, like, does it fuck with stress as of now? Oh, look at the puppy. Oh, puppy. So <laughs> he looked right at the camera for a split second. <laughs> for our audio listeners, Nathan has a temporary dog because it's a Christmas present. Uh, I should say puppy. Uh, it's, a, it's a small dog. Are we going to have to edit this out? Ten weeks old. No. My, <laughs> all of you to assume my parents or my father watches this podcast. <laughs> Sir, you've, you've met them on several occasions. I'm their favorite. <laughs> they gave me a house. Yeah. You're the least Facts. hated kid. Uh, fair. Facts. Um, but Let's get it straight. My dad was recently expressing his desire of wanting another German Shepherd. That was my childhood dog growing up. Um, and I had a friend that was sent me a post that was like, "Hey, my buddy's got these full bred German Shepherds. Uh, I want to take a look at him." Found one. Thought he was super cute. And my mom was down to like, and like my siblings were all down to like split the payment for him. So we got him, and we're just going to hold on to him until Christmas and give him to him. So the next 10 That's days, dope. I got a cute little puppers. He's very sleepy. I'm jealous. <laughs> he just looked him up there. Let me see them paws. Let's see how big this motherfucker's going to get. He's got some, Dude, he's big, got some big paws. 
Yeah. That's a hardy. It's a hardy paw. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I could never get a German Shepherd. There are two things they are like known for is they chew really bad and they yeah, shed really bad. Uh the shedding yeah. for sure. Uh my German Shepherd Sam growing up, he didn't really like there were a couple times where he chewed on shit, but he wasn't like a chewer on like stuff that weren't his to- that wasn't his toys. Um and so far this guy has shown zero interest in almost everything. So I think he's still like nervous. A, I think it's like a one year thing. Yeah, it's a comfortability thing and it's like an older thing. Yeah. But we mm-hmm. almost adopted a German Shepherd, like a rescue German Shepherd that was fully trained. Like he could roll over, he could stand on like his back paws, sit, stay, turn around. But we went to their house and we went into their house and all of their furniture legs, like their kitchen chairs, their couch, oh, like little no. legs were all just chewed up. And I was like, I feel like that's also like partially an owner thing because like there was one yeah. time where like my german shepherd did chew like a hole in one of our leather couches but it really turned out that he was just doing it um to get another puppy that we had like in trouble at the time um like once we got rid of the puppy like one of us caught <laughs> him best, yeah dude. one of us caught him like doing it and we were like he's already gone bro you don't have to like keep up the charade um i just can't like, imagine my it, parents it that a... would not have flied in my house like if my like to have a dog doing that type of shit like a that's probably why they were getting rid of it a b i think it's a dog really more of a dog <laughs> thing because the dog was super well trained right? right he did several tricks he was potty trained supposedly i mean when it stick around well, well trained doesn't also out. necessarily mean like exercise properly like a lot of that is like I and mean, sometimes it is like anxieties and stress like that that'll make a dog do shit like that so it could be like even yeah. if he is trained like maybe there's just like some outside i don't know the the pressure of a dog's world you know yeah true you'd be surprised because my border collie bro i swear to god she is the most stressed out uh, dog she'll pace back and forth if like if I'm downstairs like hanging out on the couch, hashtag prayable. She'll come lay on her bed. Hashtag prayable. She come. She'll come lay down in her bed for five minutes and then she'll just go back and forth right. and back and forth for like ten minutes. I'm like, can you chill out? And she'll lay down for like fifteen, and then it's the same thing. Oh, it's wild. Yeah, it's crazy. It's just like, what are you like? What are you stressed about? You don't even have She's any a, bills. Like, I'm sad. I got shit. you. I pay for everything. Me. I got. Got to pay to even get him to be in your house. All right. So this is kind of a special episode. Uh, But before we start this episode, or at least the prime reason why we're here, uh, I do want to say I will help everybody who's not interested in Spider-Man know that this episode, we won't talk about (laughs) Spider-Man because before this airs, uh, hopefully Friday or Saturday, uh, we will have a review of the Spider-Man No Way Home movie. Uh, if you haven't listened to it, notepad. if you haven't listened to it and you do want to listen to it, the game plan is is for the first 10, 15 minutes to be spoiler free, and then we will go into the spoilers. Uh, so if you want to at least kind of get an idea of what the movie is like, if it's good, listen to the beginning of that. We'll let you know whenever we're slipping into uh, spoiler territory. But we're going to do an episode that we've all been waiting for. Would you rather? Round of applause. Yes. Right. Yeah, I'm with this. Yay! He's going to so, put way more <laughs> applause in there. Just, <laughs> just put like thank you, s- thank you. slow golf clubs. Um, yeah. So some of these are pretty basic. Some of these are superpower related. Um, I just try to click the ones that I feel like we might go up against i don't know why i selected this one but uh <laughs> but i will go from the what is it? first okay i'll go with the first one i just pulled up would you rather okay. have regeneration or healing what's the difference yeah so the the difference is is oh that's probably why i selected because it, it has a explanation regeneration allows you to perfectly heal only yourself of every wound disease missing limb etc which makes you immortal Healing allows you to heal yourself and others of almost all wounds, but wounds, not wounds, but you can't regenerate your own or someone else's limbs, head, etc. Don't forget. Oh, never mind. That's going to tell us the upvote. But so basically healing <laughs> is like is regeneration, but you can share it and it's a little bit nerfed. Uh, hmm. 
Uh, I'm picking regeneration because I 100% want to be immortal. Like, I want Uh, to live as long as possible so that I can see as much as possible. Who makes as many (laughs) jokes as I do. (laughs) I could commit Um, and live to see another day if I had regeneration. (laughs) I mean, he can commit. Let's not get this episode marked. Unaliving. Let's just bleep that (laughs) part, I guess. Um... Yeah, regeneration for sure, but mostly, like, because I'm scared of dying, you know? Not, like, being dead, but the act of, like, dying itself freaks me out a little bit. I feel like dying is super peaceful. That's, like, all I hear from people who have actually died and came back. Uh, when I almost died in the hospital. How many of those people are you was, talking yeah, to? Like, it was just, like, going to sleep, but I don't know. I Something think about just not existing death, right? anymore kind of trips me out. Well, yeah, I mean, it depends on the death. Getting shot, well, getting shot in the head, you don't even know what's going on. Or you were scared to death before. <laughs> or like, or like a brain aneurysm or something. Said, you're uh, like, you're like instantly dead with yeah, a brain yeah. aneurysm. I saw a tweet today that said, like, I know that Lincoln's cap must have went flying when that man got capped in that theater <laughs> off that balcony. <laughs> uh, no, that's all I can Probably the regeneration as well. But like the healing aspect is cool because then you get to heal other people. But I feel like that would get cumbersome. Yeah, I feel like, like that comes with a lot of expectations for, like, of others, and it's like, listen, I don't want to With great power Jesus. comes great responsibility, yeah. you know? We said we weren't going to talk about Spider-Man this fucking episode. <laughs> sorry, I just had to make I had to make the one. I had to make the one, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> I would probably go healing, because I would like to live forever if it meant nothing bad ever happened to me, but I don't think I'd like to live forever by myself. So keeping... Do I get to turn it off, though? Like, can I... Like, if I decide I don't want to live anymore, can I make that choice for him? trapped in an internal life it says it allows you to perfectly heal so it doesn't say you you're, automatically you're cutting on discord i don't know if you're cutting on obs i don't know probably i don't know i'm so it, it says that it uh it allows you because if like well, can if we make I'm up the rules here and so... i can't do anything about it then absolutely not like i don't want to do that because eternal life sounds fucking awful like um no, absolutely not. So if that if that's the situation, then yeah, I'd do healing. Um, but other than that, that's all the way I'm doing it. I don't know. Eternal Life sounds awful, but it also sounds cool. Well, right? no. Like, yeah, it sounds cool if you can decide, like, all right, I've like... had enough here. Unplug. But if it's just like, I'm trapped here and I can't ever die, like, that's not an option. Nah, I'm good. I don't know. I feel like everything that makes Eternal Life everything that so we're all on like life one obviously this is the only life that we have or and or remember whatever your beliefs may be but so everything difficult about this life every subsequent life so every 100 years like it would be less right so imagine you live your 85 years right at the end of that 85 years you have a shit ton of experience a shit ton of money you know what to what you like you just have so much experience right and then at the end of it you're just like well now it's over right but like imagine then you just got to start over right so at 86 now you get to start a whole new life like do whatever the fuck you want you you know like i can't think of so many ways to spend a lifetime that i i think it would be super cool to just be able to do that for that sure. makes sense. So my question to you would be like, how many generations of like your offspring are you really gonna be fucking with, right? So like, <laughs> you have your kids obviously, and then you're gonna be like, you're gonna be there for your grandkids and your great grandkids. But like after your great grandkids, what's the line, right? Yeah. To where you're gonna be like that figure in their life? Are you gonna continue that on like it depends a on forever like, scale? What type of lifestyle am I living? <clears throat> like, am I openly immortal or am well, I? Well, here's the like, thing: if if you're immortal, somebody. There's no way you're not rich. That's what that's what pop culture has taught me. Is if vampires are always rich, they always have a lot of money because they Facts. have all the time in the world money, to money. to cure value and stuff, and you know, play the market if you will. Yeah. Um, so I think by a certain point you're gonna have a lot of money, so you would be rich probably by like the third generation of your family or whatever. But I ain't trying to like live forever without the homies or family. Fuck that. that doesn't sound fun to me. I mean, that, it, that's, fair. that's a yes and a, and a no, yeah, right? If pop culture has taught me anything as well, it's like watching everybody you love die sucks. 
I mean, that does Life suck, but that, that. that's going to happen no matter what, right? <laughs> True. So everyone is going to die, right? But right. In, my, in my mind, we came in at a point in time, right? And we developed these relationships, right? And we don't, like, we don't know when people are going to die. I know people who have died already, right? So I am going to experience death all throughout my life, no matter what. Like, right. Like, heaven forbid, and, you know, something happens to me, like, I'm going to watch my grandparents die, and then I'm going to watch my parents die, and I'm going to watch my uncles die. I'm going to watch my aunts die, right? This is really turning into <laughs> super south, super Just put some sick. sinister music behind that. <laughs> <laughs> right. But that doesn't make you infinitely sad, right? Every right. day you find new relationships and new people, right? And that makes life good. So I, I always see how they <clears throat> portray people living forever alone. And the only way that I can see that is if it's a secret, right? So you have to be secretive right. about it. No. But I don't under, like I don't understand how you just don't generate new friendships right like i get that. true but i mean because also, i do i've had told me the same one thing as well for... money does buy happiness yeah a, a poor person said it doesn't um for sure or a rich person said that it doesn't um i don't think no. it buys happiness it buys say. comfortability it buys things to make yeah, me yeah it buys yeah. comfortability buy things it solves make me a happy. lot of problems it, it'd be really hard to be sad in like a lamborghini right it'd be super hard to be sad I don't in think a fucking McLaren. I don't oh, think I'll no, ever I'm be dead sad. Free. Hmm. I don't know if yeah, if I if I'd ever be sad if all my bills were always paid and I never had to be like, Ew. facts. Yeah. <laughs> this would be iffy this week. <laughs> Might have to roll that one over. <laughs> all right, let's move on to the next one. So was that three regeneration, one healing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. feel like that yeah. question could have been altered a lot to make it like a lot better. Well, we can alter it when it doesn't have a description like this one this one basically well i mean that wasn't rules. very specific like one thing that i think is a big part of immortality is if i wanted immortality i wouldn't want oh, to sure. age like i would want like at like so, 40 45 max would i want i would want a cap i would agree with you but it says regeneration so i'm assuming your cells are always regenerating so if you, whenever you chose to choose regeneration you would stay that age forever so is healing the opposite of that Healing is just basically extending your life. The way I view it is healing is extending your life and regeneration is permit permanence, basically. Yeah. Did I use that word right? I feel like I did. <laughs> but yeah. Regeneration is oh, yeah. like vampire rules. Yes. And immortal is just like, I don't know, that's the doctor, if anybody knows that. Okay. So we're going to move on to the next one. Now, this question originally is be able... What? I should have read this. Be able time <laughs> to do... So the original question is basically, would you rather have jutsus from Naruto or magic from Harry Potter? I'm going to change it since we all haven't watched Naruto. Would you rather have key from Dragon Ball Z or magic from Harry Potter? So basically, would you rather be a Saiyan or a wizard? Now, there's no rules to this. I'd rather be a no, wizard. No, hold on. Are we, can... in, are we in the... We're in our universes, or I'm yes. taking my wizarding powers and I'm going to the wizarding world of Harry Potter? No, you're or... in this universe. <laughs> this That's universe. That's the role I'm doing. Yeah. I'd rather be. Kyle. I'd rather have. Uh, I think wizarding powers because it's just more, more practical yeah. in in this world, right? In my opinion, like, like any of us are maybe like athletes. Like, first of all, would have said, like, well, Kyle would be a really strong fucking Saiyan. He works out all the time. Day, at any day, I could hit somebody with the. Nah, bro, it's wizarding powers for sure. The thing, Hands the thing down. about saying the powers is like I'm you're super thinking. fast, I'm about to be and you're super strong. So wish right? and flicking on my And you have key blasts. You have key blasts. They have. You're able okay, to like yeah, so you have, sense so you have, people's. Oh, go ahead, sorry. So like the only thing that I can see that really affecting my life, like you can there's fly. only two ways. There's only two ways, right? Either a I use my incredible powers to take over the world and then I'm a dictator, right? And that's gonna, you're gonna have to kill some people, right? A lot of people. Or B, wh your which they never show in the show whether you can do this, is turn your energy power into some sort of perpetual energy. You know, you become the renewable energy source right. for the world and then like you get paid to do it. Those are the only two like practical, like I'm gonna live a well, really- I a oh, I was thinking more like what the government did to Superman and like Justice League. One of the animated movies where they like use like trap the Dark Knight. Like, 
Oh yeah, where they like use him for power. That's a power. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not even trying to be a superhero. Like, I'm not trying to be a vigilante. I'm not trying to fight crime at all. I mean, but it's still a viable option. So here's the thing. Here's the thing about saying. So I, I get the magic thing. I was. I'm gonna ask you a question about the Avacadabra thing. But uh, I said <laughs> it wrong. I don't care. <laughs> I said Avda. That's fine. That's fair. I said. Uh, is it Abada, not Avda Kadavra? Avada. Avada. Like avocado. Okay. Okay. Kadavra. <laughs> Uh, no. So the thing with Saiyans is that so there's like some perks of being Saiyan. One, if you ever so you could basically be like a really successful UFC fighter eventually. The reason being is because every time you lose a fight or you get beat up, your body basically gets stronger from that fight. So if you get beat up really bad, you'll be you'll be there's a level increase in your power basically. So you could like essentially be a usc fighter i could start it right now as i am right now with my body and by my 10th fight i could be the world champion you know what i mean um out of the gate just have 20 people um, jump you two questions that happens in the show <laughs> he, he asks Xan. krillin to kill him so he can come back and be stronger do you get a tail and can i still turn into the monkey yeah i'm it's saying or a wizard so yes First of all, A, if you have a tail, no shot they're letting you fight in the UFC. And B, you wrap if around your waist. Out, if anybody belt. finds out about your power, like they're not gonna let you fight in the UFC anyway. Yeah, I'll beat their ass. And then what? Th that's just fighting. That's when the world that's oh, the that's, that's how the villain arc starts, Kyle. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> but listen, that's what that's what, that's what I said. The only two practical the portions I saw was A, you're either the villain, you take over the world, or B, you utilize your power, your power. Why? Beams. Why wouldn't they let me fight though? I, I because was you're not a Saiyan. human. They don't. They, you're not a human. Wow, you're a species. That's crazy, bro. Wow. Fucking now, wild. Wizarding does just have way In more. Twenty twenty one. We have speciesism going on. Like they wild. don't even let dudes take steroids and fight. They're gonna let this. But that's an enhancement. Super... That's not natural. Okay, you're not natural to this goddamn planet. I am natural. I was born with that ability. That's natural. You weren't born here. You're a Saiyan. I, it's still natural. Not Kyle for doesn't like planet. The, Kyle doesn't believe in, you know, the Special Olympics, apparently. Because if you have some sort of enhancement or you're different, you can't compete. You know what I mean? I wouldn't say Changing this episode to Kyle hates everything. <laughs> Got it. I'm just uh, saying, there's no, no shot they let you fight in the UFC. It'd be like if they let Superman uh, fight in the UFC. I mean, I'm, you're probably not openly being... Like, hey, I'm a Saiyan. First of all, if I'm a Saiyan and I have power blasts, there's no shot I'm hiding that. Like, and then once you're shooting power blasts, like, no. <laughs> you're not going to shoot them in the goddamn octagon. <laughs> but I'm saying there's no shot you're hiding that. I mean, if I'm if I'm getting rear naked choked and looking like a bitch, like, <laughs> fucking boy, I might bust a Kamehameha on this dude's ass. Solar Flare! Um, would you, so, with the the... Spell that I can't pronounce. Anybody can do that, right? Yeah, it's just yeah. literally yeah. like kill. I mean, yeah. they say Such anybody can do it. But power it's a, scale. You have it's to an mean unforgivable it. Unforgivable cur curse. Yeah, like you have to. You do have to mean it's it. Illegal, anybody really. at any point in it's, time could be. A, yeah, yeah, it is. The, so it's so it's really really the only murder, thing. technically, right? Yeah. Like, uh, okay, so I guess die every day, be you know. I guess I'm the odd man out again on this one. I'd rather be saying, but that's also. I'm not even thinking of it for like killing people. I'm just thinking for like sheer convenience of like. Oh, no, for I'm sure, laying definitely. down the remotes across the room. I can't fucking you said Akio remote. say and blast it back to me. But I can do that what Eric just said. I'm just a fucking weeb, I guess. Also, I'm I'm thinking of like the broomstick aspect of it as well. Also, like, like you that's, can, that's been just, like, so if the, if the question to, was, like, would you like that, would you right? would you rather be a character in Harry Potter? Like, would you rather live the Harry Potter arc or the Dragon Ball? arc i would live the dragon ball arc right yeah but yeah. you put it in this world right if i'm living in yeah. this world harry Potter, like the 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 ability to do harry potter spells is the the vastness of utilization and applicableness to this world is I, huge I, I will give you the point here kyle because the top comment here basically ends i can use magic with so many day-to-day -day things cleaning up the house doing dishes teleporting most Correct. most jutsu yeah. but we'll say I most key blasts that, i'm bro. still talking Fucking... uh used in fighting i don't fight <coughs> so yeah, yeah it's very valid i mean but ends the transmission right uh, like that's fair. but yeah, you you yeah. get that you can evaporate you get that uh, with both this it's is a lot cooler than evaporating yeah. though 
Yeah. I don't know. Instant transmission is sick, bro. Yeah, Fucking. How cool are they, I feel like they're exactly the same. Yeah, but it looks cool. Yeah, but cooler. it's the movement. Like <laughs> instant transmission is like exactly. the just put you, just touch. You can, I'm a just, poser, Kyle. Any <laughs> wizard could just put their fucking fingers on their head. They could, but they don't. <laughs> but do you make true, that cool? True. Yeah, it would make, do you make true. the cool make, <laughs> noise whenever you do yeah, it? <laughs> it would make Harry Potter so much tougher <laughs> if Hermione was just like. I'd be like, damn. Yeah. Don't she worry. Right after I'll she take care of Malfoy it. Malfoy in the face. She's just. But yeah, if All there right. was like, if there was like a giant world ending threat, obviously being a super saiyan or even just a regular saiyan would be dope and it would no. be very applicable. But, you know, I don't know what like, I feel like if I'm a saiyan, if I wake up tomorrow, I'm going to have to go to work like we got to <laughs> I got to pay these bills. Well, wouldn't you have to go to work if you were just a wizard? No. Nah. In today's world, nah, you could probably just got to pay bills. Yeah, but even no, if you I'm do walking have to, into a you bank, can get a job am, that you could literally just boop, you're done. I'm walking, I'm walking into, into a bank, into a bank and, and every I'm single person everybody. is okay. But then you're gonna get caught. I am memory adepting everybody in that goddamn bank. Okay, that's fair. And Let's I'm see. taking I'm all of the can't, money. We can't kill money, bro. So I don't get the power scaling in fucking Harry Potter. Apparently, if everybody can zip fucking memories out of everybody, how is that universe still a thing. I don't think you can zip memory. I think you can only zip memories out of yourself. No, you can do it out of anybody. No, you can zip memory. Okay, yeah. Hermione erased her parents' memory. Yeah, when they left her. You can the do power scaling things. in Harry Potter is fucking it's, insane. If everybody can do the same shit, that's insane. Well, not everybody can do the same like, shit. Like, it takes right? a level like, of skill. How is the Death be, Eaters not an do, army? It's like D&D. Everybody can do the same shit, but to, like, different levels of success. So. Uh, that's still insane. Yeah. Also, do y'all want to hear a crazy Harry Potter fact that'll probably hit really hard with Eric? Awesome. And it's still just super interesting for you guys. So, Voldemort's wand, his first wand, before he went to this other ones, was a yew wand, right? It was made of yew from a yew tree. Now, Mm -hmm. yew trees were historically known to be planted in graveyards for two reasons Mm -hmm. the yew tree is extremely poisonous its leaves are poisonous its bark is poisonous it's very deadly toward uh humans right and also other mammalian species right so number one is putting it in a graveyard would keep shepherds and herders and people with animals from going through the graveyard for either superstition or respect for whatever reasons and then their herds wouldn't eat the yew trees and die Right. And number two is the root systems on yew trees are extremely complex and wide growing. And so the root systems would feed off the bodies because in the earlier days, bodies weren't buried in caskets. They were just buried. Right. And so the yew trees would get their source of nutrients from the dead bodies in the graveyards. And so yeah. the uh, the nickname for the yew tree, like for generations, like way before Harry Potter, is the death eating tree. And so that's why Lord Voldemort's called followers called are called Death Eaters. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah. That's wild. It's Nazis sure. was already taken. <laughs> yeah, All right. True, true let's, let's move on to the they next one. <laughs> oh, shit. Just copy. Puppy fell. <laughs> wow. I mean, that's what a lot of TikToks are. The puppy that's did a, not Almost fall. all things are. No, almost. He, yeah, he, yeah, there's like a, a, yeah, but you have to include the because Nazis yes. were taken at the end of it. Okay. It's definitely an there's actually like oh, a famous quote that said nothing is original everything is repeated yeah. so just yeah. make yeah. art out of whatever you want it's, there's no original ideas anymore yeah that's like a, I don't remember the quote verbatim but it it kind of reads that way it's like we've really all, never had an original thought or like we all live the same lives basically kind of shit for sure okay yeah, let's go to the next one Nathan you're gonna have to speak up closer to your mic sorry I think just I think magic is just more applicable I think it just no, makes more I'll sense I'll give you that but I agree. I, I'm the odd man out again. So three, one, two, DBZ and Harry Potter. So the next one. Also, no shot. Like, go ahead. We get like no shot. I'm not throwing my life into that culture. Like I'm gonna study everything. Is I'm gonna study like I never studied before in my life, bro. Harder than the SATs. Harder than finals. Harder than fucking state ta- tests. I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna be like Voldemort, but better, I guess. But but good. <laughs> but not even. Dumbledore. Dumbledore. I, I don't know. Dumbledore is kind of a piece of shit, to be honest. We'll get into that later. Let's go to the next question. So the next question is: Would you rather earn one dollar for every bad. step you take, or a hundred dollars every two hours? 
Now, oh, I definitely. will pick this one specifically because it's going to expose what type of people we are. You just cut again. Can you, can you do me a one, one solid? Um, can you just repeat that? Okay. I'm dumb and I deafen myself, so. Would you rather earn $1 for every step you take? Every step you... Or $100 nice. for every two hours? One dollar for every step, or a hundred for every hour. Two hours. Two hours. Yes. I'm taking a dollar step. I'm taking a dollar step as well. Yeah. I knew I was going to be the odd one out again because I had a hundred percent take the hundred dollars every two hours. You don't have to do anything. There's, I don't yeah, have to how many, step. How many hours are in a year? How many hours are in a day? There's twenty four, so I'm making twenty four hundred dollars a day. Yeah. Easy. Not I'm doing shit. Twelve hundred. Yeah, it would be twelve hundred. Yeah, oh, it would be twelve hundred. Every, every two hours. Every two hours. Every two hours, yeah. I mean, there is there are times where I've, ta I've taken 28,000 steps in a day before. So, like, that's... I'm taking... Oh, I live, I work from home now, so, like, it would be my down season. But, like, on the oh, weekends, bro, I'd be banging. The, the, the hours still take is $438,000 a, a year. I got a question for you. Does it have to be... Do I have to be... Is it a moving step? Or is it just the action of a step, right? If I put a treadmill in my house... It'd be a step. Yeah, that would be steps. Oh yeah, one hundred percent steps in. Why? Because Why you would don't you have a, make you don't have yourself a do more? But you don't have a maximum, right? See, I'm just so, lazy. If you could tell so, me that, go ahead. I'll let you say something. Farming, okay, bro. so 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 the the limiter is right. A, we're we're young, right? So if you ask me the question when I'm seventy, it's obviously a different answer, right? But there's no cap on the steps, right? So it's a dollar for every step. It's a hundred dollars for every two. Other, the maximum, like, first of all, A, this is not small money, right? But if, if we're going to talk about maximizing on our ability to make free money, right? The the every two hours is like $436,000 a year. Like, I did the math. It's, like, pretty close to that. Um, but you could literally just grind on a treadmill. And there's steps. You know, you're not running. You don't have to keep a heart rate. You just put a treadmill in your house, and you could grind for way more money than that i get what you're saying so it's you like faster... walk you could walk for two hours a day for about 83 to 84 days to get a million dollars i get what you're saying there's more of a crunch if you choose steps to have the ability to like basically have your life set but being able to just wake up and do whatever and at the end of the week you know, have X amount of money. I, I didn't do that math. But at the end of the day, make I mean, $1,200. dollars half a million dollars a year. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and it's like, like $1,200 a day. You're making damn near half a million dollars a year. But they say the average, like, office worker steps 7,500 times a day, right? 7,500 steps in a day on an average office worker. The average stay-at-home parent walks, like, 13,000 steps. I guess I never... So, like counted my steps so i don't really have an accurate guess i know for a fact like i'm taking almost ten thousand steps a day in my home and there are fucking weeks where i never leave this bitch but i'm going to like check on the dogs i'm walking downstairs walking upstairs i forget something so i'm walking back downstairs right i go do this i go do that i'm walking out back the dogs out blah 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 I'm taking more than 1,200 steps in my home a day. Yeah, like if you do the dollar for every step, <clears> you're getting paid to do literally almost everything you have to do in your life. As long as you're not in a safety yeah. position, you're getting paid to do it. And especially like when you take the money into the mix, like you're going on vacations, right? You're going sightseeing. You're all over the world. I'm and lazy. you have no rush. You're not in a rush to do anything. So you can just walk anywhere, right? And then uh, on top of that, like, just put a treadmill in your house. Treadmill? Just yeah. fucking grind some treadmill walking. Yeah, and if we're, getting, if, yeah. we're, if we're getting real lazy with it, and I mean, I don't know the rules here, but if I feel like walking we can create, create a contraption where, like, I'm making my feet step like the baby while walker. sitting down. No, I would, I yeah. would, uh, the rule that I would give it is, baby you have to be standing up. You have, yeah, you have to, like, physically walk. Well, either way, you, the, the day, ability I'm... to grind money like that versus like having to like once grind a day by I'm hitting time. the he's a maniac <laughs> maniac dance one hundred percent catch me with my arms up feet are going crazy well not not like pitter patter like in place I'm talking about like fully walking but if it's on I a mean, treadmill I'd be going. I'd, yeah, yeah I'd be on a moving. treadmill obviously you're you're walking in place but you're still walking yeah. uh, plus you I know, mean you I... stay you stay in shape yeah that's... you're not getting fat. 
I don't know, like, $50 I mean, it's an hour. That's, that's, nice. not, that's just a giant incentive to not be a lazy piece of shit for me. So. Well, well I'll just be the automated yeah. out again. That's fine. The, the, I don't care. The, it really is the grind thing, right? So, like, even just think about it. <clears throat> the the walking is really infinite money right so even just think that you wanted to like buy say you wanted to buy a fucking bugatti bro right with the with the money you have to spend literally none of your money and wait four years to get like two million dollars right well bugattis are like 1.8 right but with with the fucking yeah, step thing you could that. grind that out in like a like three months right yeah, I get what you're saying. It's, I mean, to you, like, you guys are making very, very solid arguments. I would just like to live my normal life and just get a twelve hundred dollars at the end of the day. That's just me. That's Even still, money. I think we should circle back to this next week. I think you should get a step counter, right? Because I think even just in your normal life, just walking to the car, walking back, walking to the fridge, I think you take more than twelve hundred steps a day. I'm, I'm, I would I'll be highly, challenge. I would be I'll highly surprised if phone. you didn't. I in the will. Health app, you'll, you have a step counter in the health app okay. on your iPhone. I'll, I'll down. So it'll tell you. I'll download it. I'll do it. I'll see how many steps I take within a week, and then we'll come back to this. All right. How about right. that? Okay. Cool. Uh, catch me outside. <laughs> catch me outside, dude. Weird. I had the weirdest dream, bro. I had a dream that the catch me outside girl, Bad Barbie, was basically sicking trippy red onto me and like trippy red was trying to kill me it was the weirdest <laughs> dream like she would show up and I, <laughs> she would be friendly and then she's like there he is and then trippy red would just come out of nowhere and try it to was a me. ploy <laughs> <laughs> okay um i will do that later. Outside. okay so facts we have some readers in here and we all like social media and absorbing media so i feel like this one's good would you rather gain all knowledge from books by merely touching them or gain any physical skills by merely watching a video of them? Mm. To perfection? Yes. Basically mimic. What are we classifying as a skill? Um, Anything, yeah, a it's, skill. It's, so... trading, it's trading stock a skill? No, I think that would fall more into the book. So it's basically would so you rather gain... Skill? If I yeah, physical James skill. Bond, okay, let's call him physical skill. Yeah. I mean, but no, per, but, but you would, you would basically learn like how to shoot accurately. Any like kung fu moves that he does, you'd be able to replicate that perfectly or perfectly. But yeah, if it's to perfection, I'm taking the sight on video because that would be the fastest way to make money. I think, right? If I could really? instantly be like, all I have to do is watch a video of LeBron James, and I'm arguably the best basketball player on earth. I'm, I'm getting signed the, next week. So just uh, yeah, yeah also with point. the books, like just because I have the knowledge, do I know how to like apply the knowledge? Obviously, because you have the knowledge. So uh, for the example Kyle gave, like if you just well, I know how to do a no, backflip. No, that's not true. That's now, not... but I can't do a backflip. I think you're. I think you're saying? misinterpreting his. So I have read extensive books on like, um, like entrepreneurial and business, but I still. Just because I've read those books, I can't just go start a business tomorrow. Okay, Do you so know what I'm saying? Since, since we're giving the like mimic perfectively or perfectly <clears throat> physical skills, um, oh, it does say physical skills uh, by watching videos. I'm going to say that you retain and perfectly are able to recall all knowledge you get from the books you touch. Draw so, books, in sure. that in that instance that you just gave, um, you would be able to be an entrepreneur successfully because you're going to be able well, yeah. to remember everything. Yeah. I thought it was just like you read the book by touching it. So the same. So like, I think I would probably do books because like you could apply the same yeah. concept to books with like videos, where like I could read books on sports shit and get. No, that's it's different. Not gonna, that's different because it's because you would still be you. Oh, so it's just like I just what that doesn't make sense though. So, so like, like I, if I read a book, it's perfect about recall. Running, I don't know how to run. You touch it, no. you've read it, but it's also perfect recall. Yeah. Uh, Unless the book specifically tells you how to flex your legs, which muscles, like that's not something that you can. That's not something you can write down. You know what I mean? Right. Like it's kind of like photographic memory, but touch. I take the videos. Um. Yeah. Videos then. One hundred percent. Because I do like soccer or something, and then I would just live. I would do yeah. twenty years of doing something that I but, fucking yeah, love but that's doing. like your dream, right? So you love soccer. So yeah, and I would make yeah, one hundred percent. Like I would, I would make enough money to like 
live out my days and my kids right. and their kids and they would never worry about a thing but i know you would do like stocks and shit i would i would actually wouldn't even do stocks so what i would do is oh. i would touch every single heavy duty coding book and i would go into web 3.0 right and yep. that would be mm, super enjoyable smart. i'd be on the cutting edge of technology and i'd become a billionaire See, like a yeah, billionaire i would just go to the library and walk down the lever <laughs> <laughs> and then apply yeah. for jeopardy <laughs> yeah jeopardy would be a big one too but in, in the in the so most you actually touch a furry e book oh no <laughs> <laughs> i've got a pen in this hand easy path to success okay. you could literally because tech i mean even low-grade programmers working for fang if you don't know what fang is it's facebook uh facebook apple netflix and google uh, is the acronym for Fang, right? The big, the big four tech companies. Uh, you could go and work for them as an as an average coder, like not even like perfect recall coder, and make four or five hundred thousand dollars a year. So if yeah. you have perfect recall, that would make you the best coder on the planet, right? Because you have perfect yeah. recall, and I'll so you could literally well. do anything like that, and you would you get such your own price. You would get paid millions and millions by every yeah. company for every contract that you did for them. Yeah, one hundred percent. And I think it would be enjoyable, or something. right? Yeah. So you, yeah. like you're on the cutting edge of technology. Nothing about that to me sounds enjoyable. Well, it wouldn't be the coding That's itself, me, but you would be in the tech group, right? So you would be a part of everything that that happens that we enjoy so much, right? If I wanted to, if I wanted to make the omnidirectional treadmill a thing, right? I could just fucking touch some True. engineering books. But I've always, I know, but to you, live the lifestyle of a. I know that's what I was going to say to you is I, I, if you could make $150,000 being a professional soccer player, like on the bench, I feel like you would 100% grab that right now. No Plus, questions asked. if you asked. do the books, you could essentially like be Iron Man. Tony Stark that shit. Well, there's no Iron Man in real life, so I don't think that's Also, cool. yeah, I think if you really just take the physics of Iron Man, like that's not possible. I mean, for sure. I just like you would die. He would have died in that suit. Super smart. <laughs> like just the way that physics work. Like if you fall in a metal suit, you don't get. I feel. Nothing. I just meant like I guess in terms of like you're super smart, you could probably invent some cool shit. Yeah, you well, could yeah, maybe, shit that. Maybe if you can retain everything and then like recall Unlock it. The on secrets command. of the universe. Yeah. I feel like Drew hasn't answered yet. I so I'm I'm really caught between these two because I'm with Eric on my like, team play the sport that I enjoy watching the most and. Whether it's like esports or football, honestly, or even hockey, yeah, one of those well, three. I, like, I was gonna <clears> say, or, are we calling esports a physical skill? Uh, I call it yeah, physical hand -eye coordination, yeah. right? Yeah. So hand eye coordination, yeah, hand eye coordination. Because, like, I mean, yeah, I'd say that. So, like, doing one of those three things would be sick. But also, I'm also on the same boat as Kyle. I feel like learning, maybe not coding, maybe coding, but like just being like a perfect editor, uh, a perfect fil film filmographer and stuff like that and being able to make really good movies because I read all the books on them and like people's thesis and people's theories yeah. like that'd be really cool so I'm really up in the air but Kyle made the, the most sense so I'm gonna go with Kyle I uh, saw so I'm on I'm on team touching books and reading them because I feel well, like I it's think more practical nerd practical ways you can do that <laughs> but I think also if you take I it mean, back to the last argument you're lazy right so even you, you're not trying to be, a, you're not trying to run for 90 minutes every other day to play in the champions in the Europa League right. to make that money. Like you're trying right. to sit at I'm a desk. <laughs> exactly. I don't know. It would be super cool to be, I feel like, I don't know why the, I'm stuck on the UFC example, but it'd be cool to just walk into an octagon and just. Fuck Honestly, I think he's trying to beat some ass, fuckers. Nathan. <laughs> yeah. You got some pent up yeah. rage in there. Facts. <laughs> so the next question. I would do like multiple things for sure. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Like I would, I would definitely do fighting. Like in my in the off season, there's not much of an off season, but I would do that. I would fucking play soccer. I don't think I would do fighting. I'd sit on the bench for an NBA team. I, an I mean, I, just the feeling, right? He'd like, be the next Bo Jackson, bro. There's, there's got to be like some things that are like once in a lifetime feelings that you'll never ever be able to compare to something. I feel like, like winning a championship in a off grand slam or winning a championship right? in pro like, sports. I feel like is something that's yeah. That's, I would just probably try to see how nothing many can compare to that. I'm sure I can win in a sport. Thinking about that right now is releasing so much serotonin <laughs> in my head. I can only imagine how it would be in the moment if I was a integral part of that. Yeah. Like, championship series right yeah like to be <clears throat> lebron really cool. james in cleveland instead of like jeremy lynn on toronto 
Okay, yeah. so going on to the next one. This one has the same vibes of our infamous Would You Rather question, which we're not going to get into. I feel like that could be a whole episode. But it has the same vibes, right? But we somewhat. The answer. Somewhat, yes, clearly. Buzz, buzz. Nope. Would you rather <laughs> have... Would you rather have a free house, free food, every single one of your basic needs is completely covered for free, or would you rather have an army of 1,000 loyal d- dwarves who will do whatever you command? You're still cutting in and out. Dwarves? Am I cutting in and out? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Would you rather have a free house, free food, and every one of your single basic needs completely covered or for free? Or would you rather have a thousand loyal dwar- dwarves uh, who will do whatever you command them to do? Let me inquire dwarves. on the question it's before dwarves. we go further. Right. The freeness of stuff, is that like baseline? Like we getting we get in Costco brand shit, or am I eating like lobster bisque every fucking night and fucking fresh caught like deep sea tuna and I'm living in like I'm my really dream home? Fresh caught tuna, bro. <laughs> Eating great value or are we eating wagyu? Yeah. So, so I like say, what's the go? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I would I would say basic needs to me would fall under living comfortably. So nothing that exceeds living comfortably. So no, you know, nothing a special lavish. meal. Yeah, nothing lavish. So not lobster and caviar, but maybe like steak and potatoes as a really good meal. You might be getting American wagyu compared to like Japanese. Yeah. Wagyu. So maybe you're not living in wagyu. a mansion, but you're living in a it's house not the same. where you have, you know, enough rooms for everybody in your family and then a nice living room, maybe a nice family room, a gaming room. Nothing where you have like 15 out ho- like 15 rooms in your house, but you have let's say like you have your family of four, so maybe you have like six rooms. Um, I'm still going dwarves. One hundred percent. Just the for the songs alone. <laughs> no shot. For I don't know. I hate it here. Part forty three. <laughs> I'm team free. Personally, I'm team um, free, but really I'm more in the aspect free, like. But it's just going to be through my one thousand dwarf army. One hundred percent. Like no shot. I'm not making a dwarf do my fucking day job right. I'm going to have a dwarf fucking do day trading for me. And Not even that, bro. Just also like $20 the sheer, investment the sheer craftsmanship a million of a dwarf. Be like, hey, go make me a, a mountain. Side business. Or go make me a house on the side of that mountain. Really, this get, question I'm is, have, would you rather have socialism or slavery? And you guys chose slavery. So I was going to say, say, like, <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not trying to be <laughs> the master are of the a dwarves, thousand dwarves. Are the dwarves happy, bro? No, yeah, bro, they're your the slaves. They're bound to you for life. Did mm. I, did, did they, did I, like, you save failed their lives? the test? <laughs> mm. But I mean, do is I, it like, like, a I life can make, debt? I can make them happy. At least. Yeah. I can make, yeah, I can if, make they, if they do anything I say, can I command them to not be depressed? Yeah, that sounds really <laughs> sane. I, I, I command my dwarves to be happy. That doesn't sound like <laughs> a sociopath. But does it work? I don't. I yeah. just don't want the responsibility yeah. of another thousand lives. I got like five in my house right now, and that's yeah, already Yeah, see, but that's tough. the thing. I feel like you're responsible for five people. Yeah, that's a lot. But after a couple hundred people, it's just like, well, it's just another person. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but immediately, a body's a body. look, you go from zero to a thousand, right? These dwarves don't come with homes. They don't come with food. They they don't They're come dwarves, with dwarves. They can build a home. Quickly. Where we live in DFW, how are you gonna transport a thousand dwarves anywhere? I, mean, I just imagine that the dwarves have like all of their dwarven abilities and equi- yeah, and equipment, um, so they can just. They build homes in like rocks and shit, like under. Where are you gonna get enough rocks to build a thousand homes in DFW no, not without out stealing of rocks, them? Like in rocks, like in like the earth, Kyle. I mean, where are you even gonna get the property, the acreage to home a thousand? I have a thousand dwarves. dwarves. I'm gonna take it, Kyle. That's how. <laughs> Everything comes back to Nathan no just like wants to take have... over the world. <laughs> I'm gonna have no. a thousand dwarves. Because that's my a thousand yards at a time, bro. I'm making the money. Are you gonna get a thousand lawnmowers? <laughs> Called scissors, Kyle. I'm gonna buy a thousand pairs of scissors, bro. Come buy on a now. Thousand scythes. Fuck. The see, Nathan knows. 
the logistics of owning a thousand owning sorry look wow having, wow <laughs> wow <laughs> wow <laughs> privilege show now of having to care for a thousand dwarves i don't just... think i it doesn't sound like i have to care for them it just sounds like i have an army of dwarves i mean just but even... how are you how are you gonna have a thousand people at your command and be like yeah y'all just figure, figure it out, it out. it's raining i'm My just bad. assuming Go it's kind of like rock. house elf rules <laughs> They got their own thing going on. House elves had it terrible. That's the point of that whole arc. <laughs> they were slaves. You chose slavery. Mm. No, but the whole point is they liked it. <laughs> That's no, what you that was my great great grandfather, not me. Dobby is a free I'd, elf. I'd make my millions and then I'd let them go. Oh, I, I'm You'd be so a lad at the end of Aladdin. Genie, I wish you were free. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. But after I got my phone. Like I said, I'm still picking dwarves primarily for the songs. Yeah. Me and Kyle want communism and they You're like You're still slavery. cutting, bro. I don't know what to do, bro. I don't know. Every what's time going you on. say that, Kyle, it reminds me of the time that Kyle searched up the hashtag on YouTube uh, cutting when he was real into fitness and he got a lovely we surprise. Get, we got way different real quick. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. So next this question. One, this one um, has multiple. I'm going to condense it down to your guys' favorite anime. Which element would you be, or which element would you rather be able to control? Air, fire, water, or earth? Water. That's and, not even and in this, we're, we're putting Avatar or Last Airbender rules on it. So if you get good enough at it, you can get it and you can use it. So, like, if you have a, a fire. So I could be a bloodbender? Shit. Bloodblenders are special. Uh, true. No, yeah, you have to be born with it, right? No. Yeah. You it's you not a learned skill, how. I thought. It's no, not a learned skill. It's literally a learned skill. I thought it was a genetic thing. No, it's it's like... Uh, Google it. It's a learned skill in the sense of, like, Avada Kedavra is illegal. Bloodbending is illegal. Like, so it's just like a black market bending power. I don't think it's... Okay, well then, why wasn't Bloodbenders more of a thing in Avatar Last Bender? it's illegal. Who I cares? Actually, People sell drugs constantly in the like real world. Now that I think about it, I yeah, think it I was more the, prominent in uh, Korra. Yeah, I don't know the seedy parts of the Avatar world. I doubt Nickelodeon was getting into what you think pimps are like bloodbending prostitutes and stuff. I, I, I want to <laughs> point it out. If it's seedy, that means <laughs> bad guys would be using it. And I feel like bad guys are a big part of most shows that I are mean, like bloodbending is not the primary reason i would want to be a waterbender um that's just what's your primary uh it's basically being poseidon bro <clears throat> that's sick i'm thinking earthbending I'm thinking fire earthbending 100 percent, kyle i'm earthbending building my house i'm does, constructing does all sorts of come with a metal bending yes. as well yeah. yes mm. okay we're going to give earthbenders metal bending then we have to give waterbenders no. okay, bloodbending first. Well, here's the thing. So I looked it up. Uh, it is, I get, we'll give you the legal thing. And it's like some waterbenders who could perform bloodbending without the use of a full moon. Usually most, I want to say most people. So I'll give you bloodbending if you accept the rule that you have to be under a full moon. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Then I'll give you bloodbending. Yeah. And then are we giving fire or electricity? Yeah. Lightning. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Lightning. Yeah. I think air has one sub bending, but I can't remember what it is. I think it's like taking the air out of something. Like you they never the really got super people. deep into air bending because oh, all the air well, benders in, were extinct. In Korra, there's a dude that learns how to fly. He learns how to bend the air around him. Yeah. To fly. But definitely not air. Sick. 100% That's the dude. Yeah. Uh, his name's Henry Rollins, the dude in Black Flag, the, pa the punk band. I'm going to go with fire just so I can get my Sith on. Bro, no way. Earth bending is. It's, it's so water practical. Or earth for me. It's earth for uh, sure. Yeah. Earth for the metal, but like water. Lightning, right? Because I want to be Poseidon, bro. You know how like I could explore parts of the earth that literally nobody has ever seen? Can you? Can the you water benders go underwater? It. I, don't I would say being part they of should show. have the ability to like remove like remove water around their head and maybe like lessen the pressure around them maybe because but there wouldn't be oxygen down there right i mean there's oxygen in water that's a good point let's just let's just say if they can or can't like if yeah, if i you're can a water bender you're not an air if bender. i can an air take bender would have the, the ability in my opinion if yeah, i can take I the like water in water. your blood 
and bend it, I should be able to pull the air out of the water if I'm underwater. No, it's completely different. Yeah, yeah it's but... different for sure. Is it? I'm going to go with air bending because I want to fly and then I'd be able to pull the air from water. Nah, I'm still Earth. Bitch. Bro. Why does air? <laughs> I'm Earth too. Not... For at the very at the very air. base of it, like I am becoming a mogul of gemstones. <laughs> <laughs> like straight. Well, money. also the my home builder. One of my biggest griefs with Avatar: The Last Airbender is I feel like air or um, earth bending is so defense heavy, and now that they can metal bend, could be offense heavy as well. well that's why you, you should gotta watch, watch Korra. Like Korra. Like Korra, I is... watched Korra. I watched the oh. first two seasons. Metal um, bending was super prominent in Korra. Yeah, it is. Like... That's why they're sick. That's why I choose Earth because uh, whatever that old lady is, Sokka's uh, or is it Sokka? No, it's a uh, blind tens, chick. Tens, uh... No, the blind chick. What's her name? Uh, I know. Toph. Uh, Toph's daughter. Toph. Toph. Yeah, Toph's daughter is fucking Faithfong. up badass, bro. With her like suit tens. and everything. That's so. I heck in love tens. Um, sorry, but like they're so defense heavy and they have offense. They can potentially be offense heavy as well. I don't know how the Fire Nation defeated them. I I don't get that. There's there's no way I'm they're putting like, up they a wall. Monks. They were monks? I thought Wait, the airbenders one? were monks. Oh, I thought you were... No. no. Um, I don't know the how Fire the Fire Nation had machines, though. Uh, the Fire Nation uh, did Honestly, it, it was their industriality, during, right? Uh, Ozai's okay. comments. So, or they did it during, like, a specific, like, not a full moon, but they had, like... Yeah, they had a meteor fire. that gave them superpowers. But yeah. not only that, they're, <clears> you got to understand that metal building at the time of ang was yeah. super was rare tough, right tough so tough you you could only tough. build stuff with stone if you but, but even the like fi- but the fire nation had in dust like industry because they had yeah. fire to power their machines right yeah, to melt their matter yeah. so they had warships they had like tanks so their industry is plus the comet giving them super firepower is yeah. really what led the tyranny i'll give you that but still to me if it wasn't the industry there's no way the earth would have fallen to the fire nation because yeah, straight up just fucking build earth. a wall block the fire yeah. and then hit the ground and do, 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 and then just shoot them up in the air bro that's ah. so sick but like even in I the also, intro you see when the fire nation attacks it's just yeah. fucking hundreds fire. of metal and even ships. like um and then the fire the, nation attack at the end when <laughs> ang finally fights uh phoenix king ozai and he like there are parts where he's just like blasting huge amounts of fire like that's just like destroying the entire landscape out of his hands when they're fighting um but I think also one of the reasons I would pick water is just because I was, as much as I enjoy Harry Potter, I still think that Percy Jackson is like a superior series. Uh, so I'm just like super obsessed with the idea of being Poseidon's son. <laughs> be tight. Half son. All right. So I'm repping the Half Earth Jimmy Nation. God. Kyle's repping the Earth Nation. You're repping Water Nation. And Eric is a double spy for fire and earth. I also forgot that water fire and air. water bending has healing ability, so that's super late mm-hmm. too. Yeah. I totally forgot about that. That would be dope. Mm. But also, I thought, can't can uh, earthbenders it's, control magma? That's pretty sick. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty sick too. Lava, but there's not a lot of magma around my house. They make it. True. <laughs> you know what? There is a lot of around your magma. house. Air, bitch. <laughs> All right. Let's move on to the next question. Uh, Do you want to keep it that way? So I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna also modify this one as well. The original question is: Would you rather have Will Smith or Arnold Schwarzenegger as a president? I'm changing it to Will Smith or The Rock, Dwayne Johnson as president. Well, that's Will Smith. So t- oh. That's a very tough question. I feel like I kind of want to agree with Eric <clears throat> with Will Smith. I love The Rock, but there's also like The Rock also gives me as much as people give mark zuckerberg shit for being like a weird robot lizard person the rock kind of gives me that vibe with like the how he gives me more of like robot vibes with his like a like over the top like positivity and like just he there's something about him that like when you watch interviews with him he's just like always on but i guess will smith is always the same it's the yes. same way too but yeah it's just They're different levels people, of charisma, but i feel like i guess or different I feel types, like Will Smith right? is more worldly, in my opinion. Like I feel like he's just been more places and he has more life experiences outside of like acting, personally. So yeah. I think that'd be a reason that like, I took I Will would, Smith. I don't know why, but Hashtag I feel like Will Smith twenty twenty four better person than The Rock. Is. I, I personally would just I'm not saying I'm choosing The Rock to Wayne Johnson, but I personally would like to see The Rock with every 
like global leader just doing the eyebrow thing. <laughs> it'd be so yeah, I would, that would also, be funny as fuck though. Once you be know if the rocks run and Kevin Hart is his vice. Oh yes. god, bro. It would be hilarious to see like presidential debates and like that would be great, yeah. like ask somebody and like Oh, and so and so, like, what do you think about it? And the way they go to answer, he's like, it doesn't matter what you think about this policy. <laughs> yes. Died. Executive order. Uh, rock bottom. He said, Vladimir Putin? Yeah. Die. I also don't know. Finally, like, the any rock other, has come back to Russia. Like, views on any political issues either, now that I think about it. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Either I think they kind of keep that. Yeah, yeah they definitely keep that private. Yeah, I feel like most yeah. celebrities do, uh, especially after like the hey. last four years. Most when it comes ones. to these two celebrities, they definitely keep that. Yeah, private. yeah. I don't think I've ever seen, but I know like. Plus, like you know, Will both, is way more patient than The Rock, because uh, he's be he'd be putting up a Jada. And, like, I would love to have that level of patience <laughs> like a, a president. Yeah, but also you want the president Valid. just getting Valid. fucked over, right? We need some strength in that position. <laughs> Actually, want, great point. He would want. be Putin's bitch, bro, 100%. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about Putin, but, like, Congress for sure, they would just be like, okay, well, look, just do what we say, okay? The Rock would be like, the fuck you just say to me? I woke up at 4.30 this morning. What time do you wake up? Facts. 4 a.m. Like okay. be a very, it would be two extremes on two different two completely different extremes right like will would definitely be more patient and the rock would be way more like you're gonna do what i fucking say when i fucking say it i don't give a fuck about congress wow. fuck your policy it seems shit. like the rock would have less of an understanding of what the president actually does <laughs> I, I i'm gonna say that you say you see these dogs i, I want to bring this up real quick because i just saw it um the top comment in this post is at least Arnold has the experience in politics talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger. And <laughs> the next comment under that is good point. Um, and he quotes the username who has the top comment, which is Garfield's cum slut. So <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny. He's just like, good point. Garfield's cum slut. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, I, I, I'd probably choose Rock Dwayne See, Johnson. Sub sub out the Rock with Stone Cold Steve Austin, and I'm voting Stone Cold all day. No, that's bad. But yeah, I'm choosing the Rock. I, I just want it to be fine for me to wake up and drink twelve beers, right? Right. I'd like to think before we like, if we ever go to like get in any conflict with any country, that's the music they hear before we invade. <laughs> just F-18s. <laughs> I would join the military. Yeah, one hundred percent. All right, uh, that actually sign me awesome. the fuck up. Last question. <clears throat> God, by God, that country had a family. <laughs> Let me close the ones that we have already done. I want another good one. So wait, so I chose The Rock. You chose Will Smith, Eric, and Nathan. Who did you choose, I, Kyle? I chose The Rock. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Johnson. Uh, we haven't had one where we're all on the same page yet. We have not. Um, we'll do this one. Um, let me find a good one. Hold on, because if this is going to be our last question, we should make it somewhat. Are there any of the fighting ones? Those are pretty good. I agree. Fighting one? What do you mean? Like the would you rather bear versus like, lion or bear versus tiger? Bear versus or, lion? Or like a tiger? Or would you rather fight like a crocodile? Oh, or like uh, like one hundred. Uh, giraffe-sized llamas or one llama-sized giraffe? Dude, a giraffe-sized llama would be fucking terrifying. Oh, yeah. I mean, those are just the first the animals. That's just a giraffe. That's just a llama, but different. Hold on. <laughs> they are what very similar the, in shape, uh, now that I think about it. Yeah. Where's the one that somebody posted just in about... the uh, Topics Discord? It's in the Topics Discord. The of topics. neck difference. Okay, would you ra we'll do this one, then. Because Kyle posted this. Would you rather fight five tiger sized roosters or 25 rooster sized tigers oh i put that one in tiger sized roosters all day yes yeah i would say tiger, tiger sized rooster, roosters bro. all day i could kick a rooster that's a dinosaur i don't know how much is, Google, how much a tiger weighs well hold on how many was it of the rooster size they weigh about 300 how many rooster size? pounds i'm just saying like a normal a normal mm, a normal sized rooster they're like I don't know if I could fight Think about, 15 pounds. Bro, I feel like I would get roosters. fucked up by like 20 house cats, let alone a tiger. Yeah. 
Okay, so shot, bro. tigers can range from six to ten feet long. So we're roosters are bipedal. So we're gonna say they're six to ten feet tall. Okay, heard. And they can weigh from two hundred and twenty to six hundred and sixty pounds. So let's go an even four hundred each. Yeah. Either way, birds are way dumber than felines. Yeah, but you gotta so... you gotta think about the thickness. And the dr- striking power of that Thinking beak, if you multiply it by a hundred. So Thanks, basically, man. what you're talking. Okay, step listen. On a fucking rooster and kill it. Like, listen I, to this. I, I listen never. to this, though. This is what you need to realize. It is basically the equivalent of five velociraptors, because no, velociraptors were smaller, but like Spielberg velociraptors, right? Because that's where would, basically dinosaurs come these, from. I would say even those are only about two fifty. Right. Oh yeah, because they're heavy as fuck. Or you're saying that you would rather fight that or no, you would rather f- not fight that, but fight 25 feral alley cats, essentially, because yes. that's what yes. a rooster. Uh, you're insane, bro. bro. They're so sharp. They're so bro. fucking sharp. Cats are so sharp. Yeah, but I could, uh, you, I could you, kill you 25 like, cats. If, if I'm, yeah, feral if I'm alley cats? Of a room, if I'm standing in no the center way. of a room right now. To in today in Bro, this form, I want you to Google I, I, a cat attacking a person, and then imagine twenty five of those. I just want you to understand I that I have fire. never, I throw a fucking cat. I've a never cat, gone a brutal on a cat, right? Like, because there's a sense of pride there, right? You're not just gonna like this thing is so much smaller than you. I guarantee you, I could kill a cat with one hand just by squeezing really hard on their neck. Kyle, like, there's I still 24 it. other cats. I think I don't. You're okay. I don't know what your experience is with cats. My cat was a fucking asshole, and whenever he got vicious, I was like, ah, oh shit. But yeah, also, I wasn't trying to kill him. Scared of him because but here's you the weren't thing: trying to kill him. Here's the thing: if there was cats. 25 of him, and they were like, "We're jumping this dude," I'm fucked, bro. Like, go piss I don't off think your cat, and then go try to grab it by the neck and see how well that goes. Also, yeah, like you're you need a four pack of Red no. Bull in 24 hours, bro. That's not a part of it. That's I'm not a part of it. That. Like, I could 100 take 25 cats. I I think you guys are what underestimating. What weapons do we get to use? Because none. Think you're, awesome. Bare weapons, knuckles. I think you're underestimating how like a 400 pound anything. Right, Facts. 400 pounds is so much Facts. weight, and five of them. That's a car, bro. Is it five? I thought it was one. One it's versus five. twenty-five. No, it's uh, five. five. Five one, or twenty-five. Five versus twenty-five. If it's five, I might pick the cats then. Yeah, there's I don't no think so. Down yeah. five Only because like I've been playing a lot of so, roosters, I've been playing a lot of Assassin's no Creed Odyssey lately, and I get hunted down by like bounty hunters and shit like that. And it's just like, all right, when there's like one light work, two, okay, three, getting a little harder. So like it's obviously going to increase the difficulty of something that large. And um, it's ten feet tall. Just think about the talons, bro. I feel like, like we even should, if he's like, not if there's five of them, there's no way it's hand to hand combat. I'm I'm thinking about their breasts. Oh, like no gun. That's been the sure. podcast, no. everybody. At least at the end of the five <laughs> roosters, you know we eating good. Facts. Facts. Not eating twenty five cats, bro. Two breasts, uh, look at those they're wings, tigers, buddy. technically. Either we way, get, we get, get some sweet I mean, rugs though. One, I see Honestly, I I did forget there's five of them. Uh, that's I feel like big, unfair. bro. Yeah. I feel like. It should be yeah. Both are supposed to be if unfair. If there's one, then maybe, yeah. But, like, tigers can't climb trees. So if I ever got tired, I would just go climb a goddamn tree and call it a Did you say tigers, tigers can't, can't climb, climb trees? trees? No, are you an idiot? Lions can. Are you... They literally can't. I'm about to Google, Google this. Tweet. Google. Yeah. No fucking uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm you, know, right you know how many here. nature documentaries I've seen? I feel like I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I can't picture a tiger in a tree. Like a panther, a lion, all that shit. But th- that orange striped motherfucker, oh. I ain't never seen one in a tree. Hey, bro, don't worry. Okay, tigers can easily climb trees, but they seldom do. Okay. Yeah, okay. bro. I Googled tigers climb tree. The first thing I see is the tiger climbing a giant tree. <laughs> That makes sense when you Google it. They seldom do, bro. So, I mean, I, you got to think out of percentages. Seldom, I'm going to take that as 4 to 10%. You know, okay? I seldomly shoot somebody, but if I'm all, trying can, to kill somebody, I'm going to shoot them. That's the I, point uh, I need to make. See, I, could, how, I feel like I could climb a tree faster. How often do 25. you climb trees, Eric? Seldom? Rooster. I mean, <laughs> no, can. I mean, more, than, more than seldom. More than seldom, for sure, I'd say. Oh, that's so great. That's so great. <laughs>
Uh, like, have you like seen how how often is Eric in a tree? Climb a tree? Well, he could climb a tree easily, but he seldom does. <laughs> so, okay, I'll I'll probably also choose roosters. If it was three or less, I would definitely choose the cats or the tigers. I think no. maybe Probably I'm choosing the rooster size. If fucking I get tiger, a weapon, the tiger size fucking rooster. Yeah, if I get a is if it's uh, one, uh, maybe two. If I get a well, weapon, I'm choosing the mach- cats, and I'm just filling a sock full of, or a bag full of bricks. <laughs> David and Goliath over here. Yeah, I don't know. I, I no I'm more I upset that you're the... underestimating feral cats. Yeah, for sure. I feel I'm like not. you. I'm completely no. estimating. No, no. you're, you're tw- not. No, I'm 100%. Way, I've Eric, dealt with a feral cat. Well, I know you have a cat. Eric, when is the but last will... time that you've owned a, a cat? A feel. I 100 owned a cat. Could kill Don't 25 have to deal with feral cats. cats. I, you're insane. Well, at there's once, no, though. At once. Twenty-five. In this room, if there was twenty-five cats in this room, there's. The only thing that they can no, do is run away. Feral from me. cats. Right. I understand. I know what feral means. I, I'm gonna. How adult. many? How many? In <laughs> in waves adult. of the wave All increases by. At once. No, I'm. This is a kind of a pivot. And oh. each wave increases by five. First wave starting at ten. How many waves of like fifth graders do you think you could get through before they overpower you? These are like just normal fifth graders. Yeah, so just we're, normal we're talking, just we're normal talking like eleven year olds. No, yeah. Zion. Do, do I have a weapon or no? What kind of what kind of break like am I bat? getting in between waves? Like, am I fully That's recovering question, yeah. between it's, waves? It's like like Call of Duty Zombies. As soon as you take out the last one, you've got like thirty oh, seconds before the shit. wave starts coming. To find take out, though, I'm just I, like, imagining a fifth grader crawling. His <laughs> <Just crawling. laughs> <Just laughs> legs yeah. are broken. Could I kneecap him? I mean, yeah, it, you can, I, I like mean, kneecapping it's... a fifth grader is taking the world to lose. Well, so you're just gonna sit yeah, there. There's like, no rules. You, normal... The only in, the only weapons you can use are your environment. The environment that you're in is a school. <laughs> but are these like feral fifth graders? Who's like, look, oh. <laughs> shut the fuck up, now. I can't see. <laughs> no, but hundred percent right. Any fifth grader, any fifth grader, I I punch them once. They're not like whether that yeah. takes them out or not. They're turning around like. They're not gonna try to get punched. No, again. like their goal so they're is to, to end the death. You. Yeah, they're fi- it's a fight to the death. They <laughs> okay. punch them once, and if they can get back up, they are getting back. They up. do get back up. Yeah, yeah, they're they're on meth. And your environment is a school. I'm totally taking this to the gym. I I feel like I could take like you said, it starts at ten, increases by five. Yeah. The thing that gets me is the fatigue, right? So you can only throw so many punches, right? And if it, right. if there's yeah, no I mean, break like, in like... between waves, I don't know if I could get past yeah, the but third. All you have to do is hit a fucking fifth grader in the, in the knees. The last one, you hit him in the knees, you walk away. Okay, first of all, you know how low you the, the knees death. are on a fifth grader, like yeah, golf swing, Kyle. Call it. A you day. don't have a weapon. Yes, you do. You said you're in a gym. You're, you have your you have the environment of like a school. Yeah, you, you have any okay. weapon you can we're get. We're in the school. we're in the fire elementary school. There are no fire golf clubs. <laughs> yeah, fire elementary school. school. Baseball bats, Kyle. So you're gonna sit here and tell me there's not a baseball bat in this You had a baseball bat school? in your fifth grade class. In our elementary room? school? Hell yes. no. No. Nah. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, it was like okay, locked in the shed, balls. but y'all never got to. You're gonna like, defeat a wave of fifth graders. No, we had giant parachutes and dodgeballs. <laughs> Either way, you know, I feel like you could end them rolling things that you press your fingers on. You could. I fucking. You could take out a lot with one of those giant parachutes. Set up a trap. At least even light it on fire. Even if even if I had like a fire extinguisher, I don't know. If I could swing a fire extinguisher repeatedly more than about seventy times, like just think about our squats. That's just, you just squatted down. Kyle, and stu- I'm not talking about hitting a fucking. I'm saying for at the end of one round, you hit a fucking fifth grader in the goddamn knees with a fire extinguisher, and you walk away. He's gonna slowly crawl after you because he's not getting up. Oh, after he's that, trying Kyle. to rig the system. He's gonna. <laughs> no, I'm not. He just said it's, it's like Call, Call of Duty. Duty zombie That's what rules. you do in Call of Duty. Yeah, is you blow it. the legs off a zombie and they crawl we're, after you. So you this can is what get we're doing. We're, we're gonna we're we're taking the knees out of a fifth grader. We're gonna eat some apple juice you and recover right. between you rounds. Fucking, like hell yeah. Call of Duty rules, right. but max like but like if the last one is like still crawling around two minutes before they like bleed out or something. Okay. <laughs> oh, two minutes. That's dude. not a lot of rest. Uh, I think I can get, I think okay, I so can get through like What's the third wave is 15? Waves. 20. Yeah, 20. Well, 5, 10, 10, 15, 15 20. The third, so wave, the third be wave is 45 it said, total. It starts, starts at 10. Yeah, it oh, starts, starts at 10. 10 increases 10, by 5. 15, 15, 20. 20 is the third wave. 
I so think by the third wave, with... you've got 45. But even then, I feel like I could take out more than 45 fifth graders. Like, especially... I, could, I think I like could a, take out yeah, but no a heavy-duty right, stick. Right. Like, but not after already taking out 40, right? Like, right, if the that's first what I'm saying. Like, 40, after round three is when it starts to get tough. It's like the I think after round two, you start to get tired. I mean, if I have I the mean, ability to, like, set up traps around the school, right? Yeah, like, yeah, you could home alone the shit out of this house if you want. Or the, I, the yeah, I really think I, I might be able to potentially get through like five like it's a to it's a twenty four hour like period of time in that twenty. I mean, no shot at the school surviving like fucking chemicals. two hours, right? Like in a sheer numbers game, I don't think that I could get to the round where I have to take fifty. Right, it's getting real dark, real fast. Uh, <laughs> Drew, fuck them kids, bro. I don't know. Uh. It's not the opponent, I don't it's even, just the sheer energy. Yeah, I, I can't really think of what a fifth grader looks like, for like fortunately. Like Charlie's, Aiden, my in, nephew Charlie's in the first grade. is in seventh grade, so like... Uh, I guess you haven't seen Charlie. I don't know, these fifth graders these days, bro, they're almost grown men. I'm also Some just picturing... Some built these. different, yeah. They are built different. Like, oh. NBA prospects by fifth grade. Facts. Um, and it's also the, the will to kill. Like, if, if I Spartan kick... A normal fifth grader, like he's not getting back up and coming after me, right? But he could right. get back up, right? right? So if we're putting the the caveat that their only will in life is to get back, like I could full Spartan kick a fifth grader, and he could get back up after that, right? So you're thinking about the energy to just take out one. That's right? basically like just think mm, of like a, a squid. All right, maybe 24 hours. That's too long. Uh, I will say like three hours max is a time limit. But three hours um, of doing anything is crazy. Like, well, even, even when I worked out, like, I would take way longer rest than two minutes in my 45-minute workouts. Right. But, so, I mean, like, that's saying, like, you could gain, alone. even then, like, if you wanted to, I guess you could gain that system and just take out the first round. Take three hours to take out the first round. I'll be humble, and I think I'll just go wave two, and then I'll probably, because, like, oh, well, no, wait, 10, I think three. 15, three, yeah, yeah, probably three. 20 is a lot, especially is after a- you just did 15 and just did 10. After you did twenty five, basically, yeah. yeah. At one, yeah. Again, like once you get to round three, that like at the end of round three, you've killed forty five, <laughs> or you you've taken <laughs> out forty five. Like incapacitated. If I'm one hundred percent utilizing my surroundings to the best of my ability, I feel like I could get I could get deep ish, right? I can get past like three, four, five, maybe. I think they also use in the environment <clears> though. You getting basketballs and shit thrown at you in the middle of this shit. Mm. Right, you. Oh, they can all use the environment. You gotta worry about tripping. Yeah, I guess if they could use the environment, but also tripping you. I just don't feel like I don't have a lot of faith in a fifth grader's ability to like get together and work as a unit. I feel like once they start seeing their buddies getting taken out left and right, they're losing. But see, I don't have any confidence in a fifth grader throwing a basketball at me, though. Right, like. Yeah, but then also you got to think there's 45 down fifth graders. You're tripping on some of these dudes. Like you got to worry about <laughs> where you're stepping. It's Call of Duty rules. They uh, disappear. I just watched 300. I'll funnel them through a <laughs> hallway or something. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I think third round would Break. probably be mad. I don't think, I think they're I like would. making phalanx. I'm making phalanx some type of makeshift fucking Molotov cocktails with in the, a school. The bro, <laughs> the we're not even giving. Not even that, bro. I'm just burners. breaking a leg off of a table. You goddamn right in a school. I don't. Do we? I'm going into science Jimmy's was like that in fifth grade. He got bullied. He's definitely got a I nine in there. Bunch of dinners and shits in my science class. Yeah, like my uh, my elementary Chico. school. I distinctly I think remember we even they had, had like, like the an gas things, right? There. Like on the tables. I don't think my high school did. My yeah, in fifth grade, I didn't have that. It was just we had like I think I had them in the black grade. top tables. I don't think That's we had that until until junior high. Yeah. Well. I'm fairly confident that I had them in six three. I'm saying round three. And I mean, that's that's probably about where I'm. I think that's a that's a modest bet. Yeah. All right. So yeah. final question: Would you rather like, subscribe, and follow us on Spotify or in YouTube, or be lame? True. I don't <laughs> leave you. We'll leave you. The answer <laughs> <out. laughs> That was another episode. I feel like that was a pretty fun episode. Personally, that was a solid episode. It was. It was. It was maybe yeah. maybe we'll do I it agree. again soon i feel like we should do it again soon yeah and i mean i also like when we talk about more serious topics as well i yeah. think it's a good yeah. mix yeah uh, mm-hmm. 
Also, make sure that everybody goes and checks out our special release of the Far uh, No Way Home. Sorry, I almost said Far From Home. No Way Home Spider-Man release. We went to the midnight release uh, so that you could get this content as quickly as possible. We're doing this for you. We're out here doing things for you guys. So make sure you uh, check it out. Not for us at all. I didn't even want to see it. I don't even want to see this, to be honest. Honestly, I, I have not been thinking about that night for like the past three months at all, you know what I mean? I didn't. Yeah. I didn't just Spider- watch all three Tobey Maguire Spider Mans yesterday. <laughs> I did right, shameless watch. plugs. Uh, I mean, you know, I I guess I'm streaming Twitch. Honestly, guys, if you're listening to this, just go to twitch.tv forward slash Kenobi the Shinobi because I honestly do not like doing it anymore because you're not there. Listen, look in that rear view mirror if you're in your car and a mirror near you or in a window. That's who I want in my stream. Okay, so just come on by. Say what's up. Yeah. And Drew said it better than I ever could. Hashtag twitch.tv forward slash Eric Pat 11. Oh. You know what it is? We want you and make in sure- our chats. Yes. And make sure if you're not subscribed to the YouTube or sp- are following on Spotify that you do that now. So you can always get updates whenever we release a new episode. Um, it'd mean a lot to us if you do. The more followers we have, the more steam we have in our engine to keep on putting out these episodes. And trying Drop to some comments. It. If there's anything that you want to hear us talk about, throw that in the comments below. I don't think Spotify has comments, but you can hit us mm-hmm. up on Twitter. You can hit us up on Instagram. You can find us on TikTok. You can get, hit us any one of these platforms and drop any suggestions of any kind of topics you want to hear, and we will happily oblige. Also, course, and all the links are on below. That note, put your would you rather comments in the comment section. Oh, yeah. Let us know what you think of these questions. Honestly. True. Yeah. And let us know some good questions on the would you rather. Like, would you rather have control over all the mosquitoes in the world or be lame and have a velociraptor? (laughs) Fucking Lord. You know the real answer here. (laughs) All right, y'all. All All right. Thanks for listening. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Say bye to Nameless Dog. Nameless Dog. Oh, (laughs) Oh, he's so fucking. (laughs)